WordPress on Amazon Web Services in five minutes. I'm going to take us to the AWS Management Console. Focus is currently at Oregon under the EC2 instances. I'm going to launch an instance. Classic Wizard is fine. I'll choose an Ubuntu 12.04 server. Instance type will be small just because it's a little better than the micro. I'll throw it in West 2A for no good reason. Next, next, next on through these first few screens, we've got the key pair. Now, first keys, I did already download this key set, so I'm good there. I do want to create a new security group. Uh, we'll call it uh, SSH and Web. Uh, WordPress coming in. We'll put a little description just because it's required. I'm going to say SSH is allowed from anywhere, and I'm going to say HTTP is allowed from anywhere. Is that great for security? No, it's not, but we've got five minutes. I'm going to launch this. It's now loading. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to get my secure CRT instance ready. Now, it hasn't popped up the public IP address of uh, where we're going yet, but I've got my secure CRT for when it does. Note that you can still use PuTTY for this. It just takes longer. I've clicked in the window and now see that we have our public DNS name. I'm going to copy this to my clipboard, open Secure CRT, create a brand new session right there. We'll name this, well, we'll use SSH, put the, paste the host name in there. I'm going to use that session name. That's fine. Uh, open the properties for that session, choose SSH, public key, properties, and I'm going to add the correct public key, which is firstkeys.pem, to the list. I click on OK, OK. I notice that this is still initializing. I'm going to wait. All right, we've brought ourselves up, so I'm going to connect. We've got uh, the SSH key. I'll just put Ubuntu as the username, although it's really the public key and the private key set that gets us into the Linux instance. Uh, so now we're in. First thing I'm going to type in, sudo su, get rid of all those, <laughs> all of those restrictions that keep us from doing what we really want to do. Uh, I'm going to do an apt get update. Uh, that will download all the updates needed for Ubuntu, all the right sources that we need to uh, download the packages that we need. Now we got to put a web server on there. I'm going to do the apt-get install Apache 2, which is going to download Apache to our little Ubuntu instance. The phenomenal thing is by the time this is said and done, we are able to access this URL. So I'm going to copy this guy back to my clipboard. Oh, there we go. Just want it on my clipboard. I'm going to open a new tab in my Google Chrome instance and paste it right in there. We've now got it works coming up, which tells us Apache is running. Now I'm going to use app git to download all the correct SQL packages that I need to get SQL Server running on my Ubuntu instance as well. That's going to take a little bit. The only question it's going to ask is, what is the password for the root user? For now, I'm just going to create it as password, the most insecure possible installation we could have. Now I'm going to do the mysql install db command, which initializes the databases and gets it running. Now we've got to secure our installation. We set our password to password. So come on, we've got to put this little script in here, which will uh, run us through a little security wizard, if you will. It says, well, what's your current password? I'll put in password. Nah, we'll keep it the same. Remove anonymous, disallow root, test the database. That's fine, that's fine. Remove the privilege. Okay, we've got MySQL now secured. Now I want to make sure that we can create a new database. This will be what we use to run our blog. So I'm going to paste this command in here, SQL admin, uh, username, root, password, password, create the blog database. Done. Now we need a little love from PHP, so I'm going to do app git and install all these PHP libraries. Matter of fact, I should probably make these commands available to you when it's all said and done. Perhaps I'll do that. And restart Apache. Get Apache shut down, restart it back up. I'm going to take us to our web directory, which is going to be at var www, and we're going to download the latest version of WordPress. Thankfully, WordPress has made it very simple just to say, get me the latest version, and it's going to download. Wow, that was fast. Let's unpack that to our web directory. It actually is going to create a folder called WordPress. You can see it right there, that it puts everything in. Now I'm going to copy the sample configuration file. You can see this guy right here. I did a change directory WordPress. Copy the sample configuration to the actual configuration file, which gives us something to begin with. And now I'm going to edit that configuration. Why? Because I've got to put the links to our SQL database in there. So I'm going to go in. Here's our database, database, database information. Let me update that. There we go. Take a look. I've got the database name of blog. I've got the username of root. I've got the password of password. Let's do a colon WQ, which saves that file. Now let's test it. Shooting back to my web browser up here. Going to do a forward slash WordPress and -hoo -hoo! there it is. WordPress on Amazon Web Services in five minutes. For more insanely paced AWS training, come on over to cvtnuggets.com. My name is Jeremy Char. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Huh. <sighs>